Stephen will be delivering his um, speech number 10. Um, that competent communicator manual. His speech title is Ask for Better Questions. Just to give an introduction on the background of the speech, uh, scientists can explain electrochemical reactions in the brain, but they fit fall short explaining the mind, consciousness, and behavior. This gap in understanding has fascinated Stephen Hale for many years, for decades actually. During his ongoing exploration into human behavior, Stephen found a seminar from motivational speaker Tony Robbins to ring true with his with some of his own ideas. Uh, his speech today gets its foundation from some of Tony's thoughts. And please help me welcome in Stephen. The Bible says, ask, and you shall receive. Who's heard this before? Say, I. I. What? No one's heard this before? If you've heard this before, say, I. 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 Ask, and you shall receive. And I was a kid, I thought, okay, great. Mom, I want a new bike. <laughs> Mom just says, no. Well, it didn't work out that way. I grew up in the Episcopal Church, so we were studying the Bible every week. And... Okay, Mom, how about a new bike? She says, no. She said, that's for church. I said, great. Lord, <laughs> can I have a new bike? No booming voice came down and said, no. However, I didn't get a new bike. So I wasn't sure what that was supposed to mean when I was younger. And as I grew up, I realized maybe the Bible's missing a couple of pages. Because... <laughs> I think that deserves a little more explanation. What do you ask? Who do you ask? What do you ask for? Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, I hope when you leave here today that I leave you with a few points on how to use the big computer sitting on your shoulders, your brain. I believe that what we have here is a user manual. Ask and you shall receive a user manual for your brain. What do we do all the time? We think. And when we think, what are we doing? I believe you're evaluating. Constantly evaluating what's going on. You're walking down the stairs, you're evaluating your balance. If I throw this remote at Shaw's head, he's going to evaluate some things too. <laughs> say, what is this? What am I going to do? How do I react to that? So evaluating is nothing more than asking questions. Yes? Yes, yes. Evaluations break down into questions. I made a statement, but in your head, someplace you said, huh, do evaluations turn into questions? And you just asked a question. Even if I make the statement simply, the sky is blue, somewhere in your brain you went, is the sky blue? Yeah. Of course, you quickly make that answer. Sometimes you think about it a little more. And sometimes it takes a little while. How many of you have been watching a movie or a TV show and you see an actor and you go, I know, I, he's from that, 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 he's the doctor on that ER, you know, from, and I'm more annoyed, I'm annoying my wife, Where's, where is he from, where did we see him? She's like, shut up and watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then, fine, 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 fine. And then at 2 a.m. I'm going, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's this guy. He was on the yard. He's just like, shut up and go sleep. <laughs> when people ask him, when we have that in the elevator, we run across that on our daily lives, like, what was that? Your brain will give you the answer. It will always give you the answer to the question that you ask. It. That example was, though it may not give it to you on a timely basis. Depends on what you ask. So instead of a big old fancy database, your brain's more like a little old librarian. So ask, ask consistently, ask in different ways, and when your conscious mind's gone, I don't know the answer to that, just let it alone, and your subconscious will give you the answer. Whatever you ask it, you'll get an answer for, whether it's a real statement or not. And here's 
a, a true statement or not. If you say, why do I have the worst luck? Your brain's going to go off and give you an answer for that, won't it? It'll say, well, you dress funny, you have a list, you dress, you know, or you're stupid. <laughs> if you ask a presupposing question, like, well, why do I have bad luck? Well, why do I only date losers? It, <laughs> your brain will give you the answers to those things. <laughs> Instead, ask a positive question. Why am I so lucky? How did I want, how did I end up in such a wonderful job? <laughs> <laughs> the focus of your questions will determine how you focus on your life, how motivated you are, your outlook on things. If I want to lose weight, if I say, why am I so fat? I'll get all the answers. The brain will give me all the answers why you're fat, Stephen, because you don't exercise, because you like McDonald's, because you sit around on the computer all day. They'll give me all those answers, and that's not very empowering because I'm just, you know, wow, look at all this list of stuff. That, that's why I'm fat. Maybe a better question is, Stephen, how can I get thin? Well, that's what I really want. I want to get thin. So I'll ask myself that question. Even better, ask specifically, Stephen, how can you get thin, how can you lose 30 pounds in the next six months and have fun doing it? Wow, that's a whole lot better question than why am I fat? <laughs> <laughs> so now the brain starts searching for those answers of I have 30 pounds, six months, and having fun. What a much better question that is. If you agree with that, say aye. Aye. This last item is something that we probably don't do enough of. That's ask until. How many here have kids? A lot of us. So what's a good age for your children to learn to walk? Two. Two? One? One. Wow, overachievers. So, <laughs> so at some point when your child's learn, learning to walk, he or she's stumbling along, how many tries do you give your child before you give up? One. <laughs> 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 sorry, you're done. Oh, sorry. You say, oh, sorry, Bobby, it's not happening. <laughs> or do you encourage, do you keep going back until what? Until they succeed. But when we got older, though, we didn't do that so much, did we? You ask a hundred times, a thousand times. You try, you try, okay, fine. You give up. If you're not getting what you want, you ask until you get it. Which might mean you change your questions, which changes your answers, which until you get the result that you want. So my first point was, ask and what? Yes. You shall receive. Thinking is nothing more than evaluating the constant inputs, decisions, your environment, which is asking questions about it. If you ask your brain something, you'll get an answer for it. Yeah, make sure it's a positive question so that you'll be empowered with the answer that you get from your little librarian running around in your head. Ask specifically, because if you just ask generically, you're not gonna get what you want. I wanna lose some weight. Okay, you lost half a pound, good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's not exactly what I had in mind. Ask specifically about what you want. And then ask until you get what you want. Do I have any questions? Thank you.